Are you earnestly hoping for a miraculous manifestation of God's power in your life? Do you desire to see His wonders unfold before you, leaving you speechless and in awe of His great power? Start your day with God and watch miracles happen right before your eyes. When you commit your day to God's hands, He performs jaw-dropping miracles and gives you mind-blowing testimonies. You will bask in the joy, comfort, and peace of knowing that the Lord is working things out in your favor. So join us in this morning's prayer. Invite God's presence into your life and watch God rain blessings, miracles, abundance, healings, and breakthroughs upon your life. Good morning, my dear friends. Today, the sun is up and a new day has begun, bringing us the glorious opportunity of connecting with our Savior. The morning holds a special significance in our spiritual lives. It is a time of new beginnings, a fresh moment to reset and renew our spirits before the demands of the day take hold. Beginning our day with prayer is a wonderful way to align ourselves with God's will. Morning prayers water the ground for everything that ought to follow, ensuring that we are grounded in faith and open to the miracles and blessings that God has in store for us. The Bible encourages us to seek God early in the day. That is why in Psalm 5, verse 3, David declares, In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. This verse captures the essence of why morning prayers are so vital. The morning is a perfect time to lay our requests before God, whose ears are always listening to us. When we bring our requests before God, we can wait expectantly for His miracles and blessings to be showered upon us. Let us be reminded of the scripture in the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 12, where God asks, Have you ever given command to the morning or shown the dawn its place? This verse emphasizes the immense power that God has given to us. He gave us the authority to command the morning. How else do we command the morning, if not through our prayers? We have the power to declare how we want our day to be. We have the authority to program the things we'd like to work out for us during the day. So today, as we pray together, we will command our mornings and invite divine order and abundant blessings into our lives. Morning prayer is also a great moment to sing of God's strength and love. Psalm 59, 16 says, But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. These words remind us that no matter what challenges we face, God's love and strength are our refuge. We need to rest on Him and hope on Him entirely not partly. As we prepare our hearts for prayer, let us also consider Psalm 88, 13. But I cry to you for help, Lord. In the morning my prayer comes before you. It is a reminder that God is always ready to listen to our cries for help, especially in the quiet and stillness of the morning. God will never put us away when we cry to Him for help. He is a loving and good Father. He loves us unconditionally and always wants to dry up our tears with His loving, warm embrace. So we need to run to Him this morning, even as we pray for a downpour of miracles, blessings, healings, abundance, and breakthroughs. You see, starting our day with prayer is not just a necessity, but a meaningful practice that opens the door to God's miraculous interventions. When we pray, we align ourselves with the truth that with God, all things are possible, according to Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. This mindset gives us the courage to smile, even in the face of difficult situations, because we know that our problems are absolutely nothing 
before the Lord God Almighty. Knowing that all things are possible with God also strengthens our faith to face the day ahead. Imagine starting your day knowing that God, who performs miracles and displays His power among the people, is with you. Imagine walking in the assurance that He can do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to His power that is at work within us. This is the promise we hold on to each morning as we come before Him in prayer. In Job chapter 5, verses 8 to 9, we are encouraged, But if I were you, I would appeal to God. I would lay my cause before Him. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. Each morning, as we kneel before God in prayer, we invite these unfathomable wonders into our day. We provoke God to release uncountable miracles upon us according to His Word. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Morning prayer is a time to call to God so that He will answer us and reveal to us things that we do not know about our day and our lives. He also promised to reveal to us the great and unsearchable things of His kingdom. The word of the Lord tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 21, He is the one you praise. He is your God who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. Each morning, we praise God, remembering the blessings and wonders He has performed in our lives before and anticipating the miracles yet to come. Today, as we prepare to pray, let us open our hearts and minds to the miracles God has in store for us. Let us embrace the opportunity to commune with Him laying our requests at His feet and trusting in His unfailing love and power. Let this morning prayer be a sacred moment where we connect deeply with our Heavenly Father, inviting His miracles, blessings, healings, breakthroughs, and abundance into our lives. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray. The Almighty and Everlasting Father, we come before you with grateful and humble hearts. We are absolutely in awe of your goodness and love in our lives. We thank you for your miraculous presence within us. We also thank you for each breath that we take for free through our lungs. We thank you for the blessings that surround us and the opportunity to experience another day of your grace and mercy. We thank you for our family members and loved ones who you have been preserving under your shadows. We have seen your hand of protection and defense upon them. We have seen how you keep making a way for them we pray, Lord, that you do even more in their lives. Lord, we acknowledge that you are the source of all miracles, and we put our trust in you always. You are our refuge in times of trouble, our provider in times of need, our strength when we feel weak, and our guide when we feel lost. Today, we surrender all our anxieties and worries to you, the miracle worker. Father, we bring before you the burdens we carry in our hearts. You know them one by one. The challenges we face at work, the problems we are faced with in our businesses, our flawed relationships and marriages, the illnesses that seem insurmountable, and the uncertainties of the future. Lord, we ask that you perform your miracles in these situations. May you show yourself strong and prove that you are God in all circumstances. Father, may you bring peace to our hearts and resolution to our doorsteps. We ask that you replace our anxieties with your calm assurance 
and soothing love. Grant us the clarity and wisdom needed to navigate these situations. Um, open our eyes to see your miraculous hand at work in our lives, even amid seemingly impossible circumstances. We know that nothing is too hard for you, Lord. Guide our steps and lead us towards solutions that bring peace and joy to our hearts. This very day, we seek your miraculous presence and guidance. We ask for your divine protection over our lives, our families, and our loved ones. In Psalm 77, verse 14, your word says, You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. Lord, we ask that you perform your miracle and display your power even in our midst today. Heal the sick, let the deaf ones hear, and the blind begin to see according to your great power. We declare that everyone connected to this prayer shall begin to experience your miracles in different dimensions. Father God, we ask that you cover us with your wings, shielding us from all harm and danger. Do not allow any evil to come near us, and let no harm befall us. We pray for your angels to encamp around us, to guard and protect us in all our ways. As it is written in Psalm 91, verse 11, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Lord, we ask for your wisdom and guidance as we start our day. As we face various tasks and decisions, we pray that you lead us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us the discernment to make choices that honor you and reflect your love. Give us the grace to do the things that please you. Help us to walk in your ways to be a light in the world, and to share your love with those around us. Father, we pray for strength and courage to face the challenges of this day. Empower us with your Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us in all our ways. Give us the resilience to overcome obstacles and the perseverance to keep moving forward. Remind us that with you, Lord, by our side, we can do all things, for Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. We also pray for your provision, Lord. As many are lacking in one or more areas of their life, Father, we ask that you provide for them. In your word, you fed 5,000, so therefore we ask that you feed and clothe as many as are in need. Connect them to people who will help them. As many are without food and lacking shelter or in any kind of difficult situation, we pray that you intervene and miraculously provide for them. Now, Lord, we decree healing upon anyone facing one ailment or another. In the book of Luke chapter 8, verses 43 to 48, we saw the miraculous healing of the woman who touched your garment. You have healed countless people of numerous diseases. Therefore, we pray, Lord, that you completely take away diseases of any kind from your people this morning. We command diabetes, arthritis, stroke, AIDS, hepatitis, and cancer to vanish immediately. We don't care to know the name of the disease. All that we know is that it must bow to the name of Jesus. For at the mention of Jesus, every knee shall bow. We also ask for restoration. Restore the health of your people for good. Father, display your power among us today. Let your mighty hand be evident in our lives as we go about our daily tasks. We open our hearts to your miracles and ask that you exceed our expectations. Do more than we can ask or imagine. As Ephesians 3.20 reminds us, show us the depth of your love and the greatness of your power. We praise you, our God, for the wonders you have already performed in our lives. We trust that you will continue to do great and awesome things. Lord, we speak to the mountains in our lives the challenges and obstacles that seem insurmountable. 
As Matthew chapter 21 verse 21 assures us, If you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. We declare with faith that these mountains be moved in the name of Jesus. We believe in your power to make a way where there seems to be no way. Father, we pray that you give us the God kind of faith. Help us to have unshakable faith in you. We already believe in your mighty power, but we just ask that you increase our faith in you. We want to trust you more and rely on you as our only source. Father, we ask for extraordinary miracles in our lives and the lives of those around us. Your words tell us in Acts chapter 19, verses 11-12, how God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. We pray that you will do extraordinary miracles through us as well. Let your glorious power flow, bringing restoration and deliverance. Make us your vessels, Lord, so that your presence can be felt tangibly through us, even as miracles testify to your greatness. Father, we pray for the global church all around the world. Strengthen our brothers and sisters who are persecuted for their faith. Empower them to stand firm and be a light in the darkness. Unite us as one body, that we may fulfill your great commission and bring the good news of Jesus Christ to all nations. As we move forward into this day, we trust in your promise in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. We hold on to this promise and step into our day with hope and confidence in your good plans for us. As we go out today, we go out in blessings, miracles, and abundance. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you for the miracles you will perform and for the ways you will reveal yourself to us. We surrender this day to you, asking that you would use us for your glory and let your will be done in our lives. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus, in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel, Power Prayers for Jesus, will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.